there are tournaments, and then there is the Nike EYBL. Session four is probably the most important session of all the sessions. This is the final leg. All of us are in a position to probably go to the Peach Jam. On the road to the Peach Jam, every game counts. The mission for this weekend is to make Peach Jam. That was the mission coming into it, and that's the mission in the end. And this is the end of the road. Either you make Peach Jam or your season's over with. That's our NCAA tournament. You want to make Peach Jam, that's where you want to be. This is an NCAA tournament for high school basketball, you know. You got fans piling up all over the Raptors. They're playing like it's a playoff game, and they got nothing to lose. You got to play every game like it's our last game. The last stop on the circuit. We're the big dog killer, all right? Let's go, let's do it. And nothing can be left on the court. 9 o'clock in the morning to 9.30 at night, man. It means everything. Go back to the hotel, you get on the computer. You look at the standings. You walk in the gym, you go to the board. You look at the standings. And you try to figure out all the different ways if you're in or if you're out. We're going to have to get four wins out of here to secure a spot in the Peach Jam. we got to get at least two to three wins. Two wins to get, uh, to get the Peach Jam. Mathematically, it's not completely out of the question. Focus is to win out, win five in a row. If we lose more than two, then it's, it's a good chance that we're not going to make it. You know, if you don't go, you kind of look at the season as a failure. This is the Nike EYBL's Minneapolis set. Minneapolis, baby! And this is season two of the circuit. Minneapolis, Minnesota. The final stop for the EYBL, session number four. Session four, Minneapolis, Minnesota. The final stop on the circuit. Only 24 teams will be leaving with the ticket to the Peach Jam. And for Tyus Jones and the Howard Pulley Panthers, Having the final session in Minneapolis couldn't have come at a better time. It's home court for us, you know, it's our facility that we're playing at. We'll have a, a great fan base there, which I think will help us. And we need a few wins this weekend, so I think we need to build some momentum. Black, black, black. Um, seven and six right now, um, looking to, to try to uh, get a bid for the Peach Jam as we go into the last session in Minnesota. Hard work, but we're trying to get ready. A two-week break gave teams a chance to return home, hit the books, and work on correcting things in the gym. Everybody on our team's first trip to Minneapolis. I know it's mine, actually. It's interesting to you know walk into 50-degree weather in May, because coming from Louisiana, that's certainly not the case. We had a, a finals and SAT, so we had a bunch of stuff going on this week. This week is a tough week in Oklahoma. For Oklahoma's athletes first, tragedy struck after a mile-wide tornado tore through their community. We practiced on Sunday and had to wait to leave Tulsa because tornadoes were hitting. It took about an hour and a half. You get to the roadblock. We had to walk about five or six miles to my house, which is about a mile away from Briarwood Elementary, which was leveled. You know, it just kind of makes you appreciate every day. Go, dude, get up. Athletes first get tipped up, off session up. four against Baltimore Elite. Representing the Midwest, they were in a fight for a place at the Peach Jam. Everybody's here to win games to go to Peach Jam. Knock them on the rear. Contest the shot. But the day one loss hurt their jam chances. Let's make it work. Let's make it work. Attack first, no mercy. We're gonna win this game. Meanwhile, two teams from New England were set to battle for a Peach Jam bid and bragging rights. First game was against BABC. Obviously, we're from the same city of Boston. One, two, three. One, two, three. Well, work. At the end of the day, they don't like us. We don't like them. It is what it is. Expressions Elite jumped out to a big lead. Diagonals, if we can just get in those passing lanes, get the flexions, they don't have a real point here. But BABC fought back and proved that every possession in the EYBL is important. Tyree on their team made a remarkable play to send the game into overtime. And in overtime, they just wanted it a little bit more, and they came out victorious today. If you make it to the Peace Gym and you see them, it's, it's going to be even crazier. I mean, probably going to be more people there watching, probably going to be more talking, more screaming, way more intense. Before day one finished up, undefeated Team Takeover took on Mean Streets, who took control from the start. It was Mean Streets' tough defense and team effort that handed Takeover their first loss at the circuit. Uh, we just played our first game in session four. We beat Team Takeover, the number one team in the EYBS. We've come in the last two weekends and we've given out the first game, so we thought we had a focus on making sure we came in and won the very first game. As a team, we're not playing well, we're not executing, and we're not rotating properly on defense. In the day one, we got that victory. Moving on to day two tomorrow. Mean Streets, baby.
Day two, Minneapolis, Minnesota. Every team had two crucial division games. Every possession and every rebound was that much more important. Mac Irvin Fires Jaleel Okafor had his weekend cut short after re-injuring his ankle. And Alabama Challenge had their own problems to deal with. This is what we call a dog fight. You know, it's, it's four teams, like you said, uh, they're competing for the field for a four spot. And, and we're one of those teams. The dog fight was close, but in the second half, Indy Spees proved why they lead their division and made Alabama Challenge's Peach Jam hope slim. You know, it was a tough one, you know. Indy Spees is a good team, you know, they're the top of our division. And we're coming to look for a win. While teams battled throughout the morning, the Travelers' basketball struggles started long before the EYBL sessions even began. Relocating to Kentucky. For the past 20-something years, it's been uh, Tennessee, Tennessee. but now it's Kentucky. We moved last year. The Travelers had turned their 2012 two-win season around to be in the hunt for a Peach Jam bid. On the borderline right now. I think our goal coming in was we had to win three to like punch our ticket. These next four games will be stressful. After an early loss against Seattle Rotary, their next game was against hometown favorite, Howard Pulley. Playing at home is a little bit easier and a little bit harder at the same time. Yes, you have pressure because it's a lot of your family and friends. They're going to bring their crowd. They're going to have a crowd watching the game. So we just got to bring everything that we got. We, we know if we show up ready to play, then it's anybody's game and we can come out with a win. This is the way it is. They love to come out and watch us play. Um, and I hope we put on the show for them. The Travelers won the battle on the glass. But Tyus Jones, Reed Travis, and the rest of the Panthers won on the scoreboard. And in the process, moved Howard Pulley closer to the Peach. We halfway to the Peach then. We halfway there. We got three more games to go. Family. Other teams climbing up the standings on day two were Texas Elite. After the first game, we, we didn't play very well. We didn't play as a team, so we all had a team meeting. Decided we got to play harder. We got to learn how to step on people's throats instead of just letting them come back. Team Penny with two Ws. Tied for six, plays a four-way tie. So, you know, somebody has to make a move in these last two days, and we hope it's us. The Georgia Stars with the big win over division leader CP3 and the Oakland Soldiers. Coming into session four, we know we needed two wins to get to Peach Jam, and two wins uh, this morning and last night. Amazing the Peach Jam, so we're happy right now. Okay, we man it up. Let's go. Let's go win. Here we go. Halfway through Minneapolis, the road to the Peach Jam was more congested than ever. At some point, the ball going to drop, and we're going to get one of these wins. At the end of the day, we're just trying to get the Peach Jam and let it happen as it's going to happen. I think the win this morning really got us going, and you know, we got on the roll now, so we got to continue tomorrow. Two more days in session four would decide who would make it and who would fall short. At the end of day two, day three starts tomorrow. Day three, Minneapolis, Minnesota. While some teams hit the complex with a lot of work to do, each one teach one elite already had a ticket to the Peach Jam, but they weren't ready to coast out of Minneapolis. On a day three, I just need a lot of effort. You know, it's gonna be a day where, you know, each kid is gonna have to play a big role. You know, they gotta go out there and give them everything they got. It ain't gonna be nothing that, you know, you can just go in there and say, oh, we gonna win because we each one teach one. Nah, you know, this Mac Irvin, they coming. It's gonna be a physical game, it's gonna be long. On six. One, two, three. Each one teach one. Four, five, six. Jesus. You are be all. You either eat or get eaten. Each one teach one and Mac Irvin Fire faced off in the morning. While the game was close throughout, the absence of Jaleel Okafor proved costly. And each one teach one attacked the basket and protected their top spot. Never a good thing when Jaleel Ofer go out. I told everybody we, it's a fight, you know. It's like, you know, we got trying to get into that playoff to win that, that national championship down at PGM. The afternoon held host to one of the most highly anticipated matchups of the EYBL season. The game is going to be an important game. And today what really matters is what happens come Peach Jam time. Both teams are 15 and 1, and we got the best records in the EYBL. Peach groups, both of us are tied for first place. Our guys have had this one circled for a while. Because we want to go home at this point. We're playing the way we've played this whole season, so don't change who we are. Do what you do as a group. Make sure we talk. Squeeze the rebound. Make sure we box up. Nobody can go. Hoops on three. One, two, three. Hoops. Let's go, y'all. Team Takeover versus Houston Hoops had the atmosphere of a college matchup. Takeover grabbed an early lead, but Houston fought back. We went up 12, they can go up if we don't come back with the same intensity and the same execution. We've missed a ton of shots that I, I think are good looks. In the end, Takeover put all their pieces together and proved why they are the top team in the EYBL. That's the sign. 
of something that could be special when you got guys that come out and step up. And everybody here today made a sacrifice. Great job. At the end of day three, several teams were unsure if they were in or if they were out. We don't know if we made PGM yet. We hope we do. You know, if we don't, you know, I still, I still learned a lot from EYBL. You know, it's made me a better player and it got me ready for the next chapter of basketball. EYBL is the best thing I've ever been a part of. I, I, I hope we're in there. Um, I'm, I, I'll be really excited for the, uh, for the kids. EYBL rookies, Nike Team Louisiana, saw their journey to the Peach Jam end. EYBL season has definitely been a learning experience. We knew it would going in. We definitely improved as the season went. And there is nothing like the experience that they got to go over the last four weekends, get to see the best players and the best teams in the country. Get to work pretty much day one right when we get back. Can't wait. Can't wait. With only one day to go, 20 teams had only one more game left on the road to the Peach Jam. For some, basketball would continue in Augusta. For others, it would be a short summer. With games done for the day, EYBL players from the USA Men's Basketball Under-17 World Champion team got a chance to reunite and hang off the court. We're at my house, had a pretty big cookout, just cooking up some food and just hanging out and having a good time. Who thinks Stanley needs a haircut right there? Bro. Just having a um, get together for the players, guys from USA team. It's great to be able to get away from basketball and be able to hang out with some close friends. Chance to hang out, you know, outside the gym, it's always fun. You know, just chill and you know, catch up a little bit with all my teammates. Traveling all over the world and with only us 12, you know, it kind of forces you to bond with each other, so all those guys are like my brothers. With only one day to go, 20 teams had only one more game left on the road to the Peach Jam. Day four, Minneapolis, Minnesota, the final day of the EYBL season. For Team Scan, getting into the Peach Jam came down to one simple thing. One game, one win, you're in. While Team Scan got ready for their game, on the other side of town, Howard Pulley's Reed Travis was up early. Even though his team was a lock for the Peach Jam, Reed still wasn't losing focus. It makes me feel real good to be going to Peach Jam. I mean, from what I heard, that's the best place to play summer basketball, so I'm excited to experience it for the first time and just see how we compete out there. My pregame routine is to always try and get a run in, whether that's 20 minutes or a half an hour, just kind of get my legs loose. And I usually just run to my high school and try and get some shots up before I head over to the gym. Kind of just wake up and get ready for the day. Everybody here lost the state championship or lost the championship game? This is actually more important. If you want to know real life, people care about you winning to get the Peach Jam way more than they care about your little high school. Today, it's the last game of the last session before Peach Jam. It's right here in front of you. It's an hour away. That's all it is. The one game Team Scan would need to win was against Houston Hoops. Three, 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 three! Down early, Scan wasn't going to let their Peach Jam hopes slip away. Come on! We gotta finish this last six minutes. It's the last six minutes of our EYBL season. Last six minutes and 17 seconds, we have to get stopped and get baskets. Fight through the fatigue. You have to. Where is he shooting the ball at? He don't even have possession of the ball. He no, no, he don't have possession of the ball. It's bombing. Houston won and left Scan's wild card chance out of their hands. We'll know by the end of this weekend, by the end of the next couple days, whether or not we got in the Peach Jam with a wild card, okay? Went on six, we gonna be okay. I hope we get a wild card, because so we gonna come in healthy and we gonna be ready to take everything. Momentum can carry you a long way on the circuit. And as the EYBL season finished, Pulley grabbed its fifth win of the weekend over all Ohio Red in front of a packed home court. weekend, especially everyone coming out to watch us. We put some great wins together. I think we prepared the right way and we should be ready for Peace Jam. We had uh, amazing fan support. Um, every game has been, you know, packed, standing room only. I'm Tyus Jones, this is the end of session four, and we'll see you at Peace Jam. Peace Jam on three. One, two, three, Peace Jam! From day one, the goal is to get to the Peach Jam, but the dream is to win it. Yeah. 
After 18 tough games, Team Scan and Travelers Basketball made it to the Peach Jam. Team Travelers will see your Peach Jam. Along with 22 other teams. Being the first year in the EYBL and making the Peach Jam meant everything to me. The EYBL was more than I expected. Um, I thought it would be hard, but it was ridiculously hard. We're expressing the league. We're jamming. Hey! It doesn't matter how you get to the Peach Jam. It's what you do when you get there that counts. Minnesota was a good test for us. We had a whole lot of close games, and that's how it's going to be a Peach Jam. Nothing's going to be easy. There's probably six or eight teams that realistically have a good shot to win Peach Jam, and we believe we're one of them. We're the team final. We're going to Peach Jam, but first we're going to Red Lobster. Hey! <laughs> we figured we needed to win three out of five games. We played four of the top five teams in our division. We went four and one. Great effort by everybody, great energy. Our backs were to the wall with the numbers, and we pulled through. I'm, I'm really proud of these guys. They killing me back yeah, here? <laughs> so now it's just a matter of making sure that when we get there, we can play at the level that we need to be playing at. We're growing, we're getting better, and we're going to the peace camp. We had Durban fire, we win the peace camp! Yeah! I look forward to coaching the best run line ever to play AU basketball with Jaleel and Cliff. PJ, next stop for business. And... We're going to peace camp. See you at Peach Jam. Minnesota, we out. Hey, the Peach Jam. Get it from the mud. 9 deep. Ah! We are Howard Bullies. Session 4 is a wrap. There are tournaments. And then there is the Nike EYBL. Ah! On the road to the Peach Jam, every game counts. This is the Nike EYBL. And this is the circuit.